In today's video, I'm breaking down the four cycles of the real estate market so you know when and what to buy to make the most return. Coming right up. Real estate regularly goes through multi-year cycles. These cycles can be broken into four periods. Recovery, expansion, hypersupply, and recession. I'm gonna break down the four cycles for you so you can understand when you need to be more greedy or more conservative when purchasing. Thanks for stopping by today. It really means a lot. I made this channel from my 40 years of experience as a broker, mentor, and investor. Whether you are a new or experienced investor, make sure that you subscribe and create the life you've always wanted through real estate. When people say the real estate market, that's just a phrase they use to talk about the supply and demand in real estate. One of the phases is called the recovery phase. And in this phase, what's happening is uh, we've hit the bottom and we're coming back out. Um, I would say 2008 is a great example of uh, what the recovery phase is. And this is the perfect time for you as an investor to jump in. As people are running out the door, uh, selling their properties, uh, short sale or uh, distress sales, you should be running in to purchase these properties. Whether you're gonna hold on to them uh, as a buy and hold investor, or whether you're even gonna go in and start flipping these properties. Because remember, you can flip in any type of market, whether it's up at the top or down at the bottom. It's all about a numbers game as, uh, as far as flipping goes. And if you can sell it at a certain price and you bought it really low, you'll be able to buy multiple of those properties. As the market goes back up and you hit the top, you're gonna to buy probably half, half as much as you did at the bottom. So this is what's called the recovery phase. The next phase I wanna to talk to you about is called the expansion phase. And this is very similar to the phase that we're in right now. The market's gone up since 2008. Here we are, 2021, and the market is absolutely crazy. We've got multiple offers on properties, removing contingencies, whether it's appraisal or inspection contingencies, and people are literally putting bids 50, 60, sometimes $70,000 over the asking price. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Everybody's rushing in to buy something before whatever it is gonna happen, happens. Um, I think a lot of this has to do with the low interest rates. And as long as they're low, this will continue to happen. And we may even go into a hyperinflationary time uh, which we had in the 80s. So um, be careful what you're doing right now, um, whether you're going to be an investor or a homeowner at this point in time. The next phase is called hypersupply, and it's, it's really just a down market is a better description for it. And so as more properties go on the market, remember we're supply and demand economy, so as more properties go on to the market and then you have less buyers, then that's gonna be a big, big downward trend on the prices of the homes. And what usually happens, because I've been through this cycle before, is you have a seller up here at a million dollars and it just starts going down. And you have a real estate agent saying, listed at 900, no, I know better than you let's list it at a million dollars. And what happens is as the uh, market goes down, they're literally just going down with the market. So they're dropping it down to 900, but by that time, the property's only worth 800. So they're literally just following the market down at that point in time until they realize that they have to listen to their real estate agent, sell it at the price that they're recommending, which is what the market will bear and get out. The last one, number four, is the recession. Are we even headed to a recession? Recession basically is a bubble, a bubble that burst. In my lifetime, I've lived through three bubbles in my lifetime. So are we due for a fourth? Maybe later on a fifth? Is this a pattern that continues to go on? Uh, recessions are 
sometimes predictable, sometimes not. Um, I was pretty good in predicting the 2008 and taking advantage of that at the time. And so when I was uh, buying my buy and holds at the time, uh, they were worth about uh, 500000 for a small condo. The bubble burst, and as we all know, that same condo went down to 100000 So as people are rushing out of these properties, guess what I'm doing? I'm rushing in and I'm buying 10 of these properties at 100000 okay? Because I knew that we've hit the bottom and there's... At that point, there was nowhere to go but up. So I had to take advantage of that. And I, and I wish I knew that when I first started because I would have capitalized more on the first two bubbles that I experienced. But that's what I learned from the third. And hopefully I can teach you the same. If the bubble bursts, everybody's rushing out, you should be rushing in to buy. There are a lot of factors to consider when purchasing your next investment. Make sure you're keeping your finger on the pulse of the market. Not only where it is now, but where it could possibly end up in the future. Although nobody has a crystal ball, being informed and following trends can only help you. If you already own a home and want to know how to add more value, click on this video right here. I go over five ways to add value to your next investment. As always, reach out if you have any questions. I'm always here to help.